The final lesson of Big Brother Academy is nap time. A big brother's gotta make sure that when his little sister's taking a nap, nothing, and I mean nothing, wakes her up. So, I'm gonna pretend to be your little sister sleeping, and these guys are gonna make a bunch of noise and try to wake me up. You gotta keep things quiet. <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! yeah. Gotcha. Then... <laughs> Go. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Oh. oh, not vacuuming. <laughs> Phew, that was close. But where's Gonzo? Squeaky chicken dive cha cha. Squeaky chicken dive boom ba. Gotta stop him. Huh? What am I gonna do? <laughs> oh, aha. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Fail. Oh, it's no use, guys. I might as well face it. I'm not just gonna be a bad big brother. I'm gonna be the worst. Hey, everybody. I just got off the phone with Fozzie's mom. She's on her way over, and she's bringing Fozzie's new little sister. Oh. Is everything okay, Fozzie? No, it's not, Miss Nanny. I'm gonna be the worst big brother ever. What? Why would you say that? Because I don't know how to do any of the things a big brother should. I can't get anything right. Fozzie, being a good brother isn't about always getting things right. It isn't? No, it's about giving your little sister lots of love. And you're good at that. Yeah, you already love her a whole bunch, and you haven't even met her yet. You even put yourself through Rizzo's Big Brother Academy. Only a brother who really loves his sister would do that. Yeah, ah. definitely. I guess you're right. Of course they are. You may not have been any good at my lessons, but I've never seen anybody try harder than you did. I declare you officially graduated. <gasps> you're gonna do all right. Thanks, everyone. Sounds like someone's here to meet you, Fozzie. I can do this. Hey, Fuzzy, you're a big brother now. Got a brand new sister in your house. It's making you nervous, and that's okay. But you might be overthinking it. There's not a great long list of things that you've got to know about on the first day. Just give her love. That's all you've got to do. Big Brother instruction manual, no set of rules. Just give her love, that's all you gotta do. Love your little sister just like she loves you. Hi, I'm your big brother, Fozzie. Hi, I'm Rosie. Everyone? There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is my new little sister, Rozzy. <laughs> Feel the rumble. Get ready to fly. Buckle up, Camber. It's blast off time. <laughs> In three, two, one, blast off!
that fast was actually kind of fun. You know it! If that's what blasting off in a rocket is like, I think I can handle that. Good! Then you're ready for your next Muppet Space Camp lesson. Whoa! What is this place? Welcome to the Muppet Zero Gravity Room, Cadet Carlos! Gravity is the force that pulls things down towards the Earth. But in space, there is no gravity. That means everything floats. Including you! Me? I don't know how to float around in space. Precisely. That's why this room lets you practice before you get out there. Yeah! And Counselor Animal and I are floating experts. We'll be right here with you to help you learn. We got your back. Well, all right. Activating zero gravity in three, two, one. Activate! Whoa! I got ya! Whoa! Oh, that's much better. See? Floating in space is easy once you get the hang of it. <laughs> you know, with you guys here with me, this isn't so bad. No, oh, excuse me. I guess all this floating's making me hungry. Then how about a snack? Good idea. Counselor Piggy, release the snacks. Aye, aye, Commander! Let's see you floating experts catch them. Time for snackies! Come on, let's get them! Look, Carlos, use walls like this. Ha ha ha! Ceiling too! Oh, I get it. <laughs> I can do that. Look out below! That's the right stuff. Turning off zero gravity. <laughs> Carlos, you did it! You learned how to float in zero gravity. Yeah! If I can handle floating here, I guess I can handle floating in space. Great! Then it's time for your final lesson. The flight simulator! Say what now? You know, Carlos, in space, sometimes you might run into a problem. What kind of a problem? Black hole space vacuum pulls you off course. Giant muffin monster chases the ship. You know, space stuff. And if anything goes wrong, you might have to fly the rocket. So this flight simulator will show you what that's like. Simulator? It's like being inside a big video game. Once you've done this, you won't be afraid of anything. But this looks really complicated. Don't worry, Carlos. Summer and I are Muppet Space Camp's rocket flying experts. We'll be right here to show you what to do. Well, okay. Just grab this control stick and get this rocket to Zornupiter. Simulation begin. Wow. Pre-flight check is complete. Pilot, initiate launch. Just push that button. No. Oh. Successful launch. This isn't so bad. Alert. Meet Bolaroids in flight path. Pilot, please avoid crashing. <gasps> okay. Now <laughs> switching to space battle simulation. I don't think we're ready for that yet. You don't need to press all the buttons. You just have to use the control stick to go gently around the meatballs. Let's try it again, okay? Now, gently to the right. Gently to the left. Hey, I'm doing it! Go, Carlos! Go, Carlos! Watch this! Meet Bolaroid threat level diminishing. Good work, pilot. Entering Zornupiter orbit. Simulation complete. Welcome to the Great Muppet Photothon! Yay! Right. Summer will go first to explain why she would make the best mayor. 
Thanks, Kermit. If you vote for me, I'll make sure the toys are put away. I'll lend a helping flipper to anyone in need. And I'll start something new called the Buddy Corner. Whenever someone's feeling sad or lonely, they can sit at the end of the picnic table bench and we'll all know they need a friend. Aww. Oh, yeah? How do they know you're really gonna do all that? Because I promise. That means I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do. Yay! Laughing Summer would be a fabulous bear. Definitely. She's even got the potato boat. How am I gonna compete with the Buddy Corner? I can't beat Summer and her promises. Unless I make promises that are even better. Okay, Rizzo, it's your turn. <clears throat> Let me tell you why I should get your vote. I promise. Um. Uh. Oh! I promise ice cream sundaes every day. Ice cream sundaes every day? And I promise to put on an amazing acrobat show. Mom loves acrobats. They jump, tumble, and do fabulous flips. And best of all, I promise to build the world's biggest swimming pool right in our backyard. Wow. But Rizzo, how are you going to do all that? Vote for Rizzo to find out. I promise to give you the best mayor for the job. And Rizzo always keeps his promises. <laughs> now that we've heard Summer and Rizzo's speeches, it's time to vote for who you want to be mayor of the playroom. Just put a check next to the person you want for mayor and put your slip in the voting machine. Hmm. <laughs> Now it's time to count the votes. The winner and the very first mayor of the playroom is... Rizzo! Yeah! Fantastic! Here you go, mayor. Hey, I look pretty good. Congratulations, Rizzo. You won the job fair and square. Uh, right. <laughs> Fair and square. <laughs> Rizzo, now that we are mayor, what are you going to do first? Exactly what I want to do. And I'm going to do it in my fancy schmancy mayor's office. <sighs> Being mayor is the life. I got this nice comfy chair. I got a big fancy desk. And I got a bunch of mayor's helpers so I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. Oh, Mayor Rizzo! Huh? Uh, yeah? What do you want? We just want those delicious ice cream sundaes you promised us. Ice cream sundaes? Oh, yeah. One moment, citizens. Okay, helpers, I need you to go and get me some ice cream on the double. <laughs> Bird seed? I said ice cream. <laughs> We're all out. Uh, there might be a slight problem with the ice cream sundaes. Uh, how does everyone feel about eating seeds instead? Aww. But Rizzo, you were the one who promised us ice cream. Yeah, yeah ice cream! What happened? Okay, okay, okay. Mayor Rizzo promised ice cream, and that's what you're gonna get. Just sit back and relax while Mayor Rizzo whips up those yummy ice cream sundaes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, wait, where are we? We're in the jungle. And you know where to find a quackapoodle because you're an expert, right? Uh, yeah. So, where are we gonna find this crocopoodle, Fozzie? Uh, this way? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Ooh, what's that, Fozzie? That's a red jungle wingama thing. It loves to eat cinnamon toast. Uh -huh. Ooh, wow. I gotta get a photo of that. Actually, Rosie, that is a butterfly. It doesn't eat toast. It drinks nectar from pretty flowers. Uh, yeah, that too. But only when they get bored of cinnamon toast. What's that, Fuzzy? Ooh, I know that one. A jungle snake. Do you know what their favorite sport is? Roller snaking, ah, uh, waka waka. Excuse me, Fozzie, but snakes do not love roller skates. <laughs> Why, they don't even have feet. They do in the jungle. Ugh. Animal love safari. And I gotta tell you, I'm learning all kinds of things I didn't know about animals. Huh. 
What about you, Rosie? You must be pretty impressed that your big brother knows so much about wild animals, huh? Rosie? Rosie, look! Rosie found giant footprints! Whoa, what kind of animal is big enough to leave those? Maybe the Crocopoodle made them. But that's impossible! Crocopoodles aren't really found in this part of the jungle. <laughs> Well then, come on, let's keep looking. <laughs> but if a crocopoodle didn't make this giant footprint, what did? It might be something scary. Rosie, wait! <gasps> <gasps> Is that the crocopoodle? Yep, now we can leave. Um, Fozzie, I'm pretty sure that's a tiger. Oh, I uh, couldn't tell without my glasses. But Fozzie, you don't wear glasses. Oh yeah, I forgot. Anyway, let's leave before something big and scary comes. All right, All right. Okay. Okay. so. Roar! Bye, animal. Bye bye. Huh? Hmm. I want to see a quackle poodle. I know you do, Rozzy. But hey, we've been on this fun safari for a while now. Maybe we should just go home. Hey, look! Claw marks! I wonder what made them. Hey! Quackapoodles hate to cut their fingernails. Right, Fozzie? Oh, right. Hey, look, everyone. There's more claw marks. I bet they lead right to the Crocopoodle. Come on! Yay! But the Crocopoodle's not real. It couldn't have made these claw marks. So it must have been something <gasps> really, really scary. Hey, guys, I think we... <gasps> is that a quackapoodle? Yep, so let's go. Fozzie, that is an elephant. Oh, I thought I saw a crocopoodle behind the elephant, but it was a bird. Come on, Rosie, let's go. Go again, oh. Elephant. Oh. Bye-bye, elephant. Take care now, animal. Wow. Hmm. Hey, Rosie, are you okay? I just really wanted to meet the Quackapoodle and give it a hug. Sorry, Rosie. But like I said, they're really, really, really hard to find. I wouldn't be surprised if we never, ever see a Quackapoodle. That sounds like what we heard earlier. It's a Quackapoodle. It's a Quackapoodle. Wait, Fuzzy? Uh, uh, I guess it does sound a lot like that noise we heard before. Uh-oh. Those must be the giant footsteps of the Crocopoodle. Oh, it seems like it's getting closer. Animal ready for a hog. It sure sounds big and loud and super duper scary. Hey, guys, I just remembered. I have to uh, give my rubber chicken a bath. Uh, what do you say we all go back to the playroom, huh? We can't go yet. We have to see the Crocopoodle. You don't understand. We can't see a Crocopoodle. Why not? Because the truth is... The truth is... I lied! What? what? I knew it! You lied? I did. I made everything up. But if you made up the Crocopoodle, then what's that? I don't know, but everyone, get behind me! I, Fuzzy Bear, will protect you! <laughs> Hey, guys! Sweet! Yes. Oh, it's the monster neighbor! Summer, is it time for your art show? Almost. I just have to invite Miss Nanny. Then come on! Let's go get her! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fozzie, Gonzo, can you make sure the painting stays covered while we go inside? Sure! Will do! Great! And remember, no peeking! <laughs> Oh, I sure wish we could see Summer's painting from his nanny now. Yeah, it must be really fantastic. Mm, but that's okay. I can wait. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> I can't wait! Me either! Let's just take a little peek now. Yeah. Wow! 
summer's piece de resistance. I think your minutes are pasta de resistance. Ah, uh, because of the macaroni? <laughs> Good one, Fozzy. Now, come on. We better cover it back up before she finds out we peaked. Okay. <laughs> we splatted summer's special painting. Ah, uh, we can fix it like this. Good idea. There. We turned it from a masterpiece into a disaster piece. We gotta figure out something else before. You get started without me. I'll be out once lunch is ready. Okay, Miss Nanny. <laughs> All right, allow me to welcome you to the first ever Summer Penguin Art Show. Oh, Amazing! Oh, everywhere. <gasps> Summer, is that what? It sure is. The reason these are my favorite pieces of art is because they're of my favorite friends. But why is Moa made out of all these pieces of paper? It's called a collage. I glued all those different kinds of paper into the shape of the picture. Do you like it? Oh, yes, Summer. It is beautiful. Oh, man. When Summer brings everyone in here, she's going to see we ruined her painting for Miss Nanny. Not if we fix it before she finds out. But how are we going to do that? I got it. We just have to wash it. See? Great idea. I'll do the washing. You keep Summer busy. Just leave it to me. Here's a flipper painting of Animal playing the drums. Oh, true to life. And here's a watercolor painting of Kermit fishing on a lake. See how the colors are all soft and kind of see-through? Like water? Wow, Summer. I love it. Thanks, but if you love these paintings, just wait till you see the special one I made for Miss Nanny. It's here in this next room. Summer, you magnificent artiste. Gallery show looks wonderful. Gonzo? Um, where's Fozzie? Uh, uh watching the painting, of course. <laughs> but you can't show it to everyone yet. Why not? Well, it's just like you said. You want to save the best for last, and our friends haven't truly experienced all of your other pieces yet. Take this painting, for example. Clearly, this one was made by mm, tickling an armadillo with painted marshmallows on his feet. Masterful technique. Actually, Gonzo, I made that one using little dots of paint. It's a style called pointillism. Uh, 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 precisely. Uh, that's just what I meant. But to truly appreciate artwork like this, you gotta get into it. Here, I'll show ya. Wow, hey, that cool. looks like fun. Ooh. Come on! Yeah. 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 Wow! Look at all the colorful dots! Who knew appreciating art could be so bouncy? Woohoo! That looks like fun! Come on, everyone! Gonzo! Well, did you wash Summer's painting? Um, yeah. The paint splat's all gone. Well, so it's fixed! Mm, not exactly. So what do we do? We gotta find some way to dry it off so it stops dripping. All right, I'll figure something out. I'll keep stalling him. Just hurry. There you are. Boy, you were right, Gonzo. Giving that painting a closer look was lots of fun. But now it's time for me to show you my favorite piece. Wait, you can't go in there. Why not? Uh, because we haven't admired that piece yet. Look, it's an entire painting full of dancing mustaches. No, it's a painting of you doing a stunt. All of those fun colors and shapes are part of this style called expressionism. Perfect. We can express ourselves with dancing. Who's up for jumping into the mustache dance party? All right. <laughs> well, I guess it would be okay to do some dancing before we see the special painting. After you. Cool. <laughs> Hey, everyone! Mr. Statler and Mr. Waldorf are here! Hey, you kids! It's time to start the show! Yay! Oh, boy! Yay! All right! All right! <laughs> you know, I sang in a talent show once. What'd you sing? Terribly! <laughs> Thank you! And welcome to... The Great Muppet Talent Show! Yay! <laughs> and now, for our very first act, we have Rizzo the Rat on the harmonica! Yay! What? There must be some mistake! 
Rizzo, I thought you were doing stunts. Nah, I'm gonna play the harmonica. I wanna show everyone how good I got. And it's all thanks to you, Bear. Wish me luck. Oh, what am I going to do, Sir Featherbrain? Rizzo's gonna go out there and steal the show. Uh, <gasps> unless I steal it first. <gasps> huh? Hey, Fozzie, what are you doing? This is my turn on stage. But you're playing the harmonica. That's my talent. It's my talent, too, remember? Oh, no, you don't. Why didn't I think of that? <gasps> I get it, Bear. You're the only one that gets to play the harmonica in the show. See you later, I guess. Oh, no! Rizzo's upset, and it's all my fault! Rizzo, wait! Come back! Please come back, Rizzo. I feel terrible for messing up your act. Then why did you do it? You were just so good at the harmonica, and I I just didn't want everyone to think you were better than me. But Fozzie, it's not about who's better. It's about having fun with your friends. Yeah, we all had a great time practicing our talents with Rizzo. And it's like I always say, two guys with pickle pudding sundaes on their heads are better than one. You're right. I guess it is okay to be good at the same thing as your friend. I'm sorry, Rizzo. Oh, it's okay, Fozzie. You're just so good at the harmonica that I wanted to play like you. So you forgive me? Does a rat like cheese? Of course I forgive you. Ah! Hey, can we get back to the show? I want to see Summer's magic act. Yeah, we want her to make our hair reappear. Oh! <laughs> well... I guess I can do cheese eating is my talent. Actually, I have a better idea. Hey, you know something? They're not bad. Neither is this pickle pudding sundae. If you like that, you should try it with anchovy sauce. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. I've got a surprise for you. Is it a pair of pickle polka dotted socks? Because I already have those. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gonzo. It's a brand new dollhouse for the playroom. Oh. That's the McMuffet Manor dollhouse. I've been wishing for one forever and ever. Look, it has everything, even working lights. Whoa! Can Sir Featherbrain play in the dollhouse, Miss Nanny? You can play with the dollhouse any way you like. Some people like to move around the furniture or put up decorations so it's just the way they want it. I know how I'm going to decorate the bedroom and the kitchen and everything! Can you believe it, Lady Sparkle? This is gonna be our dream home! Well, I'm glad you like it. Just remember that it's for everyone. Now I'd better go get that snack ready. Have fun with your new toy. Oh, I cannot wait to play in this fabulous dollhouse! Hey, Jill, since you know so much about dollhouses, can you give us a tour? It would be my pleasure! Come on, everyone! Follow me! Welcome, my friends, to this wonderful dollhouse! Come along, I'll give you the tour! It's a wonderful dollhouse! There's every kind of room your little hearts could desire From the bottom to the very top floor your hair. Whoa. The indoor basketball court's right over there. Yeah. A kitchen full of every kind of food that you like. And a dozen fancy bathrooms so you'll never have to wait in line. Terrific! Welcome, my friends, to this wonderful dollhouse. Don't you think that it's great? Yay! And this is my favorite room, the fancy ballroom. Ooh! Ooh. 
can't see. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make ourselves at home. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, Lady Sparkle, time for me to get started making this dollhouse exactly the way I want it. There, perfect. 